Hi, my name is Andrea and I am a NICU nurse. Many newborn infants are born with jaundice. Jaundice occurs because your baby's liver has not fully developed and the body has more bilirubin than it can get rid of. Bilirubin is a yellow substance that's made when the body breaks down old red blood cells. It leaves the body through urine and stool. The blue light provided by the device passes through your baby's skin and breaks down the bilirubin into compounds that your baby can more easily process into waste. Therefore, it is important to expose your baby's skin to as much of the blue light as possible. Before we begin, let's go over some safety and helpful tips about using the BillySoft 2.0 system. Ask your healthcare provider for information on how to care for your baby during the treatment. Follow your doctor's recommendation for the treatment duration. Before you begin treatment, have the following items close to the treatment area. Phone numbers for doctor, hospital, and home care providers, an infant thermometer, and extra BillySoft covers or Nest. The eyes of babies can be damaged from direct exposure to any phototherapy light. Always protect the baby's eyes with eye patches or equivalent eye protection products. Periodically confirm that the baby's eyes are protected. Perform this check more frequently if required by healthcare provider's instructions. Care should be taken to protect the eyes of other infants nearby. Caregivers looking at the blue light for a long time may experience headache, nausea, or mild vertigo. All BillySoft pads have one side that emits blue light. This side is identified with a graphical symbol of a baby. The other side of the pad contains printed instructions and does not emit blue light. It is important to have the blue light side with the baby symbol directed toward the baby. A quick reference guide is found inside the back cover or hanging off of the BillySoft 2.0 unit. It shows you how to operate the unit. Step 1. Install the pad covers. Gently insert the BillySoft 2.0 fiber optic pad into a BillySoft 2.0 flat pad cover. The back of the pad should face the strap side of the cover like this. For baby's comfort and hygiene, never place a baby directly on the bare fiber optic light pad. The light pad should be covered with the BillySoft 2.0 flat pad cover or nest. Step two, prepare the baby by removing clothing. Prior to positioning the baby on the pad, it is important to remove all but the diaper. The therapy is only effective if the baby's skin is exposed to the blue light. Clothing such as sleepers will prevent the light from reaching the baby's skin. Step three, you can position the baby either on the flat cover or the nest. For the flat cover, place the baby on the padded side of the flat cover. The straps are on the bottom. The fiber optic cable is at the baby's feet. It is important to be sure to position the baby to expose the most amount of their skin to the pad light. The baby should wear a diaper only. For the nest cover, place the baby on the padded side of the nest. The straps are on the sides. The fiber optic cable is at the baby's feet. The foot roll is for the baby's feet, not the head. It is important to be sure to position the baby to expose the most amount of their skin to the pad light. The baby should wear a diaper only. Step four, swaddle the baby with straps. Step five is optional. The baby on the light pad may be covered or wrapped in an additional thin blanket to help swaddle. The baby can be held and fed during the treatment. The baby will continue to receive effective treatment as long as their skin remains exposed to the pad light. Step six, protect and cover baby's eyes. The eyes of babies can be damaged from direct exposure to any phototherapy light. Always protect the baby's eyes with eye patches or equivalent eye protection products. Periodically confirm that the baby's eyes are protected. Perform this check more frequently if required by your healthcare provider's instructions. Care should be taken to protect the eyes of other infants nearby. Children and adult caregivers do not need to use eye protection. Step seven, ready the unit for operation. Place the light box on a smooth, flat surface such as a tabletop so that it is out of reach of other children or pets. Position the power cord and pads so that you do not trip over them. Never position the unit in the path of or next to sources of heat. For example, near a fireplace or in the path of radiant heaters. To avoid damage to the equipment or injury to users and patients, Keep the light box and the light pad out of the reach of children and pets. Step eight, ready the unit to begin treatment. Attach the power cord by firmly inserting connector into the light box receptacle. Plug the power cord into the wall socket. Route the power cord to prevent tripping over it. Insert the fiber optic cable connector in the box. Ensure that the air vents on the sides and the back of the unit are not obstructed or covered. Turn the light box on. 
Confirm that the fan is operating by placing your hand close to the exhaust vent when the device is operating to feel for airflow coming out of the device. During treatment, periodically monitor the baby for its position on the light pad. Here are some answers to frequently asked questions. Feeding time. You can feed your baby while continuing to provide treatment. Follow your baby's regular feeding schedule. Your healthcare provider can help you determine the proper schedule. Note the feeding times and amount of breast milk or formula taken or length of time fed on the record form. Make sure to give your baby plenty of fluids during treatment periods. Phototherapy can increase your baby's water loss through the skin. Bathing. You may continue your baby's normal bathing routine after first discontinuing treatment. Turn off the unit and remove the baby from the pad. Proceed to bathe the baby as normal. Baby can be returned to the pad for further treatment after being dried. It is critical to never use the unit while bathing the baby. Keep the unit away from bath basins and tubs. Keep all parts of the unit away from water. Taking temperatures. It is important to track your baby's temperature during phototherapy sessions. Your doctor will tell you the range of acceptable temperatures for your baby. The doctor may also suggest a method for taking temperatures. It is important to use the same method each time you take your baby's temperature. Urine and stools. It is essential that you count and record the number of stools and wet diapers made by the baby. You will also be asked to describe stools. Loose stools, black or dark green sticky stools are common during phototherapy. These observations will help your doctor determine if your baby is getting enough fluids. These items can also indicate any significant changes in their condition. Note occurrences under the appropriate column and describe the stools on the record form. Treatment time. Your doctor will tell you how long your baby needs to undergo treatment. Record the actual start and stop times of each treatment session during each 24-hour period. Apply phototherapy for as long as possible during each 24-hour period. For any questions, please call your home health care provider or physician.